Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, notification video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Atomic Shop. Today is Tuesday, so we got something new. I got spoiled a little bit by the banner on top, so I know it's gonna be Enclave stuff. And then you guys spammed the living hell out of our Discord with all the screenshots, so I know it's gonna there's gonna be a power. Armor. Although I didn't look into it because I really wanted to save that first impression, and I think I did a good job to keep that first impression <laughs> so can't wait to see what we got there man uh, afterwards we're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly challenges and then we're gonna take a look at the daily ops see what we gotta be see what we're gonna be facing today in the daily ops and uh, that's pretty much it so let's stop wasting time and jump right into it by the way use the timestamps to maneuver through the video so you can see uh, the topics that you're interested to see uh, instead of watching the entire video that's if you want to Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead to the Atomic Shop and see what we got today. Uh, crap. Wrong button. And we got some free too. Let's go. By the way, patch notes are still not available, as always, late. But anyway, here we go. The Enclave emerges. We got the Enclave bundle. The power armor. Ooh la la. Hello, hello. The top secret door. The Enclave Station looks like the station from the uh, Red Ranger or something like that bundle where we had this really cool actually oh man that power armor looks dope and kind of look man I don't know I'm gonna have to check it out the Enclave military beret uh, the gauze weapons uh-huh so the skins for all those gauze weapons they over come on man Probably this thing is selling good, that's why there's no discount for it. Cockroach Bethesda, man. Screaming Eagle, same thing. Probably because everybody's buying the skin, they didn't give a discount. Although this uh, skin has been available for some time now. Alright, let's go and take a look at the uh, Enclave bundle. Which includes the Enclave Power Armor sta Station. Here we go. Uh, Enclave Power Armor Paint. There we go. The Enclave Jetpack. There we go. The Enclave, I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing that. <laughs> By the way, I am from Ukraine, so don't judge me too hard. Uh, military Beret, there we go. And the Pip Boy skin, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, 1,800 for the entire bundle. Uh, the Power Armor on its own costs. Well, yeah, you're definitely saving, that's true. Oh man, that power armor looks so good. That jetpack looks so nice. Oh man. But what is the exclusive thing? Power armor station, power armor paint, jetpack, Miller Beret, Pip Boy. That's it. So. There are no exclusive items for this bundle. Well, uh, that pretty much sucks, to be honest. It could have been like an exclusive something. I mean, maybe, maybe a player icon or something. <laughs> Just so you know, you actually got the bundle or something, you know. Usually that's that's the case, but okay. Oh, but the secret door is not included in this one. The secret door, man, that looks actually pretty good. Look at that. Cool. 700 for a door. Really? Really? Come on now. I mean, everybody has his own pr its price mark. In my personal opinion, I'm just going to wait for it to come with a discount and grab it off the bat. But I like it. Sh sure does look good. Flyboy outfit. I don't know what's the price for it, the patch notes aren't up yet, but I did buy the bundle. I'm going to link it down in the video description so you can review the outfit before you actually buy it. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Well, why is there no outfit, man? Come on now. <laughs> that would be really nice. Although there is an outfit that you can get from the game by uh, buying it from the actual... Secret Service, Enclave, um, Bunker, whatever. 
the officer uniform, the hat, and the the body. I mean, the outfit, and then use this power armor. Man, this is. I mean, the power armor looks freaking great. That that you gotta admit just by looking at the screenshot. Hey guys, if you're gonna be buying this bundle, could you please provide some feedback in the comment section and some more uh, maybe screenshots on our Discord so we can all take a look at it. Cause screenshot is screenshot, but a screenshot from a person that you know is better. <laughs> and your overall feedback. All right, so that's pretty much it for this section. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the next one uh, we actually I actually reviewed it on the previous Tuesday. Uh, I didn't personally go with it, although I really want this shooting thing. I'm still thinking if I should get it or not. I heard that the uh, wall weapon racks they kind of like are kind of broken, <laughs> and plus the guns don't look good on those. So I'm not gonna pass out. Although this is another thing that I really really wanted, and I was thinking of getting this bundle just because with this and the shooting thing. But since this is broken, I might just gonna wait for it to pop with a discount. Let's go to the next section. What up? <laughs> yeah, survivalist bundle. Hello, hello, hello. I actually have a full review of this bundle, and I'm actually gonna grab it right now, straight up off the bat. Uh, I had it on PC, and it's a pretty awesome bundle. I really love the actual outfit, and man. Now the only thing that I'll need to wait to come to return is the uh, revolutionary bundle or some something in that area. That's how it's called, I believe. I do apologize for the background noise. Uh, Z Junior is here as well, so he likes to comment on videos as well, right, Z? <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm grabbing this. This is a good bundle. All right, there we go. So the down home dweller bundle I'll pass uh, the Mothman Traveler bundle I have a review for it I'll also link it down in the video description the repair kits no thank you I, I'm already loaded with those stupid I mean repair kits that I use up real fast when I get them through seasons but the scrap kits man that is a real pain can't get rid of those quick enough 30% discount for the responders fire chief uniform which I don't have and I will not be getting until it gets, I don't know, to like 70% discount. It's not like the best outfit for 630 atoms in this case. And the original price 900 atoms is way too high in my personal opinion. But once again, everybody's got their own price marks. Uh, the fire fi firefighter excavator power armor. A lot of people say that this is a really good outfit, uh, I mean skin for your excavator power armor. Personally, myself, I don't own it, and I'm not going to be getting it since I no longer use uh, the uh, power armors. So, then we got this. I recommend not to buy it individually. Well, it's not even that super great, but it's a part of a... <laughs> well, you like it? Come on, Z. <laughs> Can't like it. It's a part of a bundle, by the way. So you might want to just go wait for the bundle to come out. Uh, you know what? I will link the bundle as well so you can review it if I'm not going to forget. Alright, so fire, man, paint for the uh, flamethrower. I don't know. Who owns the... Actually, you know what? 50% discount, 200 atoms. I'll grab it. Just so I can display it on my dis weapon display cases. Uh, responders frame. Uh okay um my personal standpoint this should be free all right next all right so now we're looking at the mothman festival section uh once again i already covered a couple of tuesdays ago and don't remember that was maybe two or three weeks ago uh but yeah we got this i personally gonna wait for a discount to come although the emote is perfect it's just great and you know, I, I I keep debating, man. I mean, all I really want from this bundle is the emote. Nothing nothing else actually drops in my eyes. The outfit is kind of okay, but then again, the dungeon door is pretty cool as well. But it's not included in the bundle, it's, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's not included. And you see this dungeon door for 300 atoms, and the secret door over there 700 atoms. Come on, what is it? Just because it's secret? <laughs> but man. 
drop the price to 300 and I'll buy that secret door. Uh, burning torch paint. So this is for the sl uh, super sledge and other stuff that you can also review. Let's go to the next section. And here we go. We got a 10 military beret for free. Woohoo! I really hope that this one goes for everyone and not just for our first users. Okay. And of course I'm gonna grab it. I'm pretty sure it's available for everyone. I mean, the thing is, the patch note's still not here and I can't say what goes where. So I might be. It might be the stars bundle is for Fallout First. I have no idea. Alright, so we got the Secret Service Jetpack uh, with a 30% discount. Uh, 350. You know what? I, I, this one I'm actually going to get. 350 is okay. I'm going to get this as well, obviously, because it's free. The Gladiator outfit. I have a full review of this outfit, so I'm going to link it down in the video description. And uh, I think I'm going to pin those as well, just in case you can review it. It's a pretty cool out, uh, outfit. Uh, quick side note over here, the helmet. You can actually wear uh, like glasses and the bandana. It doesn't remove the helmet, so that is actually pretty cool. You can make some different type of loadouts. Uh, and it actually looks really nice with one of those Raider outfits. I forgot which one uh, from one of those bundles. I'm, I'm not sure if I actually did... Uh, no, I didn't because I don't know the I don't own the outfit. I own it on PC. I used to own it. Twenty percent discount. You cockroach. Man, I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm down to three thousand five hundred atoms. And the star bundle, which I'm. Now nah, I'll wait for it to come with a bigger discount. Satellite dish. I'm. That's pretty much the only thing that I want. Maybe I'm just going to buy the satellite dish individually. So, that's pretty much it for the Atomic Shop. And, well... I liked it. It's kind of good. Screaming Ego. But man, what disappoints me is like they didn't give discounts for these ones. I was actually looking forward to buy this with a discount. And since this has been released, like, you know, not today, they could have given a discount. And by the way, I actually noticed that uh, some items don't get discounts and I, and I have a high belief that's because they sell good whatever is selling good they're not giving a discount for it but that's what I've noticed and Bethesda you cockroach <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the daily challenges. So today we got completed daily operation, obviously, that's uh, super simple. Uh, complete an event, also super simple. Eat pre-war food, anything counts, including bubble gums as far as I know. Plus, uh, finding uh, pre-war food is very easy, like uh, dog food, steaks, and other stuff like that. Just pick it up, eat it, and you're done. It's just only five required. Uh, well, Gold Star is pretty straightforward. Complete five daily challenges that will trigger automatically. Kill super mutants, ten of them. Also pretty easy. I'm gonna mention uh, in a, in a bit uh, where you can go, where lower player, lower level players can go to. Uh, level up, straightforward. Nuclear winter for survive for ten minutes. Just survive for ten minutes and you're done. Plant a crop in a workshop or camp. Also pretty simple. I'm gonna do that at a workshop. So for the super mutants, uh, most probably the easiest location will definitely is going to be the forest area and your go-to is the Grafton Dam. Uh, they're going to be, I think, limited to level 50. By the way, there were some changes made today uh, that makes uh, life way easier for lower players and I haven't yet to experience that change myself so I can't comment on that. But it's good that uh, they actually did something to easy and up all that stuff for the guys who are under level 50. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much it for the daily challenges. Alright, weekly ch uh, What? 30 atoms? No way. <laughs> Bethesda, how generous of you. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna make a screenshot of this. <laughs> I wonder if this is the actual what they wanted to do and it's not a visual glitch or something. Oh man. <laughs> wow. I guess we're gonna find that out on today's livestream because uh, my XP build helps me to level up like 
within an hour I could easily get those three levels. Alright, so what we've got to do, build up a workshop or camp, so uh, just I would recommend doing this at the workshop. You spam all these needed mat uh, materials from the, you have five options, you need to do three, done. Claim five workshops, also pr easy, claim, uh, collect caps, you earn caps, events, sell it to vendors, etc. And you get that auto, oh, you get that completed as well. Uh, complete daily operations, ah, okay, you can do that actually I believe in one day if you do daily operations five times in one day it might gonna work I'm not sure I'll need to test that out uh, but essentially I hope it's not that you have to do it like five times throughout this week or if you don't you just don't get the score which is gonna be actually pretty stupid but I believe that you can do as many daily operations right now as you want like if you do five today it should calculate so I'm pretty sure that's the case but you never know with Bethesda uh, a core complete a gold star daily challenge. So you complete the daily uh, challenge over here that we have on our uh, to-do list, and uh, that will trigger automatically, which is pretty easy. Complete five events, also easy. Deal critical hit to enemy, also pretty easy, especially for shotgun builds uh, and uh, bloody builds because they have a lot of AP. You initiate vats uh, like in vats critical. Once you're in vats, you see the critical meter below, and you should initiate those criticals, and you get the uh, the score. Kill a legendary enemy ten times, also pretty easy. Level up three times. Let's go and let's do it. I'm curious if I'm gonna get those atoms. <laughs> and repeatable XP as always. I already, I'm already, always doing this. That's why I rank. Oh crap, 83 already. I thought I was 82. <laughs> but anyway, that was good. I think by the end of this week I'm gonna be rank 100. No problemo. <laughs> All right, so now let's take a look at the daily ops that we gotta do. So today we got to do what? Uh, pff, great. Valley Galleria, Robots, and Active Camouflage. Just perfect. Inv invisible Robots. Love it. <laughs> nah. Here is a question. Why in PvP mode you cannot VATS anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the best gun for PvP, man. Do I have anything else? Queen. Oh! Let's use this one. Where are you? <laughs> By the way, so you know, my PvP build is not ready yet. Where'd he go? Hello! I'm on now. <laughs> oh my god, why why I can't match him? This is stupid. Oh, there you go, I can fence him now. <laughs> this is weird, man. Why didn't it work before? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> hey, Bobber. <laughs> Sorry. Alright Z-Clan and everybody else, I hope you enjoyed the show and if you did, you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them, have that in mind. So if you got something positive or negative to say, you can always provide in a good manner without swearing, and in this case, people will be able to see, read your comment, and even react to it. So, no swearing in my comments. 
If you are new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. A quick announcement here: I am planning a big update for our Discord tomorrow. So I'm gonna most probably spend an entire day updating it technically and other stuff. So expect our Discord not to be as functional as it always is. By the way, since it's over 600 members, we have a lot of chats, etc. User roles. Uh, you will need to apply in order to see the correct chats but once again uh, tomorrow things will change I'll make a new tutorial video on how to use our discord in order to get access to all the necessary chats that you might find use of and uh, once again thanks all for watching I hope you enjoyed it you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it and I'll see you in the next video by the way if you want to stop by my live streams the link to the twitch is down in the video description if you want to show a little bit extra support you can find the Patreon link down in the video description as well. So, once again, thanks everybody for all the support and help. And I'll see you later. Bye. From the